Hi guys, I'm Dave, and this is Beer Virtually. Today we have a beer from a semi-local Florida brewer called Motorworks Brewing. And this is their beer called Pulp Friction. This beer is a take on their IPA, which is called Intellectual Property Ale. And this is the same beer, but with grapefruit. And they use grapefruit oil to get more of the grapefruit flavor and less bitterness. Great color. An ambery color. Light head, nothing crazy. The uh, the brewery name, Motorworks Brewing, it's pretty cool. We kind of have this ornate, kind of antique classic car look for their um, their logo. So the brewery, the, the owner had a motorsports pass and the brewery is actually in an old Hudson Motors dealership from the 40s. I think the building was built in, in 23 or something like that, and it was around through the 40s. So, pretty cool. Let's take the first sip. Mmm, that is super refreshing. So, it is heavy grapefruit smell. Definitely fruit forward grapefruit smell and a lot of grapefruit flavor and really good grapefruit flavor not the bitter pithy grapefruit flavor but the real not sweet either but just like a real solid grapefruit flavor I've mentioned this before that some beers have a better collection of tastes that they're more organized and this starts out very organized and gets slightly scattered in the finish where the maybe the the hops and the malt kind of go different directions maybe as it finishes i've got a bunch of notes on this so let's uh read through that 6.3 abv and 85 ibu that's a little surprising i would this drinks more like I would say in the 70, 75 range. And that may have been maybe the slight sweetness from the grapefruit that brings it down a little. 10.99 a six pack. You know, I, I initially thought that might have been a little high, but this, this, is a, this is a good beer. It's a very, very good beer. The IPA is also very good, and I'm looking forward to trying some other stuff from them. When, when you have a beer that's a really good quality, that's in distribution, that's usually, they didn't get lucky. That's usually, they know what they're doing. And if they know what they're doing with one beer, they're going to make sure they put out that same level of product, hopefully, across their range, which is what I've normally seen to be true. This beer, um, Pulp Friction, the pulp is, you know, the, the grapefruit, obviously. Um, it was a gold medalist this year at the uh, Best Florida Beer Championships, and it was also rated as one of Beer Connoisseur's Top 100 for 2017. Motorworks Brewing as a brewery has also been voted the best large brewery in Florida for 2017. I believe they have uh, 27,000 square feet in their facility, and that, that houses all their production and their tap room. I have not been yet. Um, I definitely am going to go. Oh, interesting. This is a ball can. We've mentioned the different types of cans a couple times. Um, it says brewed and canned by Motorworks Brewing in Bradenton, Florida. Cool can. Kind of grapefruit color with the Motorworks logo. Um, some Florida stuff on there. Pretty cool. I really enjoy this. At six point, this is almost like a paddleboard beer. Like, you know, you have a couple in your cooler. Or a boat beer, but at 6.3%, you got to be careful. And you're out in the sun, you, you know, these go down super smooth, and uh, that might catch up to you. <clears throat> Great flavor. Lots of grapefruit. I'm a big grapefruit fan, fan in general. If you don't like grapefruit, you're probably not going to like this beer, because there is a lot of grapefruit flavor.
Mm, that is, that's tasty. The, there's a slight, as it's maybe warmed up a degree or two, and as you kind of get through a beer, your your tongue changes a little as it becomes, as it responds to uh, the, the alpha acids and all sorts of different stuff in your tongue. But it starts, it's starting to get a little more pithy, a little more bitter as you get through it a little. It kind of sits on your tongue a little bit more. This is a beer, for me, I could do, I could probably do three of these, and then I'd probably want something else. Because I think it would start to, start to fry your, your taste buds a little bit with the bitterness. So initially I said it didn't feel like an 85, but now it feels like an 85 on the IBU scale. That it's definitely has a certain bitterness, but there's still a great grapefruit flavor that, that runs through the whole thing. And the smell, so much grapefruit. It smells like, um, uh, like a grapefruit, um, cleaning spray, but, but not a good, uh, but not without the chemical in this. It smells like you just cut a grapefruit and it's sitting on the, the counter in the bowl or whatever. That was good. Let's rank this beer. I would give this a 3.75. And I have a feeling that some of their other stuff is going to be in the 4 range based on how good this was. So, look forward to trying some more of their beers. And we got a bunch of other stuff coming up. So, we got a bunch of fruit beers coming up. That, kind of like this is a fruit. It's grapefruit. I got a kumquat beer. I got a couple strawberry beers. Um, so, we got some of those coming up. But until next time... Cheers.